Brings Shiva into strike. Settles. So they ask you now. Steven Taylor to come into the extra cover position. So there's a deep extra cover. Back past the ball. <laughs> Man from the long off position giving chase. But cannot prevent the batsman from getting a single. So one more to the total. It takes the total now to some 39. 39 for the loss of some two wickets. And we're into what the seventh over. Uh, may I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? We're asking a few players here to proceed to field number one. That was a good looking shot over extra cover by Arjun. And Arjun continues. Seems to be the more aggressive of the two, Leon Francis. Yes, and um, back to um, the players. Omer Shaquille from New England, Said Fazam, Kued Yulam, Azim Hasif, Moad Azzal, and Shivaz. We're asking you players to proceed to the first field for a game against Canada. That will be starting in say, about 10 minutes. And this one is played into the backward point boundary by Shiva for four. Good looking shot by Shiva. So Shiva and Arjun continues to take a toll on these bowlers. Shiva goes up to some 34. So Arjun goes up to 34. And Shiva is on 7. A oh, fine shot. Good looking shot all along the ground. So good looking shot by Shiva. So the over comes to an end. Very expensive over there, Leon Francis. Indeed. You can't afford to to allow so many runs in an over. But it happens and it's cricket. We shall see what will happen in the upcoming over. Because what you'd want to do in this form of the game, Eddie, is to restrict the number of runs that are being scored. And um, play his... Just want to say that it's a wonderful day here yeah, at the Central Broads Regional S Stadium. And we invite those of you who are outside listening to this commentary. You may just want to come and see some exciting m game that is being played here today. And uh, I understand there are too many games, too many more, too much, too more, more matches to be played this evening. And we do hope that you'll come and enjoy this wonderful cricket, cricket in South Florida. It's overcast, but it's enjoyable. Not too hot, not too warm, uh, Eddie. This kind of weather I can certainly live with. All year round, I'm pretty much sure Ivor Henry reminds him of those same sentiments. Reminds him of Nevis, right, Eddie? Ivor, I'm pretty yes, much indeed. sure. <laughs> Wouldn't want to say Trinidad and Tobago, right, Leon Francis? Uh, <laughs> Don't do, know too much of that. I've, I've never been there. Well, they say the south. Well, they say the south gets more green than the north or the northeast. Mm. That's what they say. Well, we're looking to see the opening of the, 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 the new West Indies four, four day tournament come November 6th. I'm talking about the West Indies. How are they doing down in Sri Lanka, Delhi, and Francis? Not a very good start for the Windies at all. I'm um, replying to 484. They were dismissed for 250 and 62 or 67 for two in the second innings after have ask, having been asked to follow on. So you think that the Sri Lankans are looking to give the West Indies to the one? Uh -huh. 
No, I think it not. Could well be. Could well be, but we never know. That's not the way you treat your visitors at all. Uh, you want to make sure you set out the red carpet for them, cook for them, and treat them well. But in this situation, the Sri Lankans are not having any pity at all on the Wendy's, but I'm pretty much sure that the Wendy's will come back. And uh, uh, four runs being scored there, Eddie. So good looking shot there by the man wearing the number two jersey. Takes a total loss of some 51. And also we have a new bowler being introduced into the attack from the northern end. And this one will go into the wide mid-wicket boundary. Just goes, pulls it back. Is Timothy Surge Valley just about maybe an inch away from the boundary line there, Leon Francis? Yes, that was close. Very close to being in going past the boundary ropes, but he's being stopped and prevent the extra runs. So not a good introduction thus far for the man winning the number three jersey. The left arm going between the umpire and the stumps. Plays out in towards the direction of young Stephen Taylor. Young Stephen Taylor, of course, played into the played in the CPL, the just concluded CPL for the Barbados Tridents. We'll come back to that in a second. Fine shot, but cannot get it away. So good bit of cricket all around. And is he? he? Yes, indeed. He has been run out. He was caught stealing. And, and he didn't quite get back home. The return came in, knocked the bills off the wicket, and the umpire at square leg signal in agreement with the wicket keeper and also the fielder, and he will have to go run out. Very unfortunate way to go, Leon Francis. Very unfortunate, but <laughs> he was responsible for his own shortcoming. I tell you, it's you got to see that ball pass that 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 feeler before you attempt the run. I don't think it was it was too swift. It came direct to the feeler, and he had no chance when once that ball was thrown direct to the stumps. So. Hmm? Wasn't his call as well, as Ivor was, was saying to me. Wasn't his call. Because he, his back was really to where he played the ball. And as such, it would be a danger when once it went to the, the feeler, who I, I must say was very swift. He picked up and w with one motion had the stumps down. And the new batsman, I'm sure you, you, you're aware of that, Eddie, is Salim. Sakrib Salim takes a guard from umpire Ali. Marks his mark now, looks around. Have a final look, settles into his stance just about now, awaiting the arrival. So making some final adjustment there. We're going to bring in a solitary slip. Out towards long on, pulls the man off the long on boundary. So immediately he's off the mark. And the score goes up by one to some 58 for the loss of some four wickets. But you just have to make sure that I keep in line with my score. I don't want to be in any sort of a disarray with my score here out of Trinidad and Tobago. Victor Charles, mm. the man who would have gone to Maracas Bay. A number of occasions. You ever gone to La Perouse, Victor? Man from Trinidad has never gone to La Perouse. How about Tobago? Been to Tobago quite a number of occasions. Settles now is Arjun. The man with the hat and the aggressor. Of all the batsmen we have seen today, looking to turn it into the onside. Wrapped up the bat, there's a lot of appeal, but not outside the umpire. The over comes to an end, and at the end of it, at the end of the eight over, six over, according to my score, Victor Charles, it is 58 for the loss of some four wickets. Your thoughts and comments thus far, Leon Francis. The man of the Bantigan and Barbuda. Well, 58 for the long. But how many overs are gone? You said seven overs? Six overs. And uh, oh, okay. Six o after six overs, that that's a good score, healthy scoring rate, uh, an average of uh, six, 
9 of 54 over 9 per over. That's right. But with the loss of three wickets. Uh, I, was, I would say, Eddie, that this is a good score under all conditions. Six overs. If you after 10, you should be you should be in the about 50 to no about 70 70 runs. Well, if the if the calculation is correct, mm -hmm. I would say somewhere into the 70s. 70s and uh, well, that the, oh. the, 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 I, as Ivor Henry saying in the background, they, they would have lost a couple of early wickets and they're trying to repay now. So the carpenters are out there doing the job. Nevertheless, uh, with all, under all circumstances, a score of 58 at this point is good. And uh, it's left for the middle order and the tail enders to pick up the pieces. Am I hearing an early prediction from you there, Leon Francis? Yes. <laughs> well, you can, you can predict, but <laughs> it's what the outcome will be. I like that. Uh -huh. I, I would say in excess of 130. I would say 128. <laughs> Close enough. Close enough. Full toss pushed up there in the bathroom, just pushing it into the covers. So, Patel. Okay. So, Patel turns now in operation from the commentary box end. Fine looking shot. The man from the point and the gully giving chase. Fine. Has to go back into his crease. So it's only a single. Bring the lefty Arjun into strike. And I'll give you Arjun's. He's on 38 and Saqib is on 2. And Arjun has faced some 21 deliveries. So it is 59. Ivor Henry, 59 it is for the loss of some three wickets. Well, Eddie, at the end of the over, we'll talk about the England and the Pakistan scores. Uh, Pretty much sure that's m much inches around these parts of the world today. Skies it, high hard. This it has the distance also, and it has the height. This will go away for six. There's no question about it. The signal comes in now from umpire Jamula out of India. And the little man with the hat hand goes hard and high. Six more to the lovely and aggressive Arjun Leon. You see, Eddie, I, I still can't understand why the team would have won the toss and send the opponent into bat because there's not a cash prize for winning the whole tournament. But there is individual prizes. The batter, with the, the best batter, the most runs, that is, they will be getting some $1,500. And the best bowler, same thing, $1,500. So I would think that someone of the batter would, in the batting team, would always want to bat to make sure grab a hold of that $1,500. Uh, uh, and with the captain being from South Florida also, Ivor, it beyond me why he would basically, perhaps he saw something in the, in the pitch, I don't know. But we'll have to ask him about that later on. He's wrapped in a pad. But there's a little half stifle appeal from the the bowler. Not outside umpire Jamula. Do you think the Ivor Henry that ball was going down the leg side? Yes, well the umpire is in the better position to see that and it would have stifled appeal, so evidently the bowler and fielder would have thought that it was not worth the prolonged shouting of an appeal to the umpire, so the appeal was somewhat aborted. It remained just an inquiry. Salim. Waits on Arjun, settles now. Push it back along the track, the over comes to an end. And at the end of the over, at the end of it, it is 65 for the loss of three wickets. And again, I, I was saying that um, the, the prize for the best wicket keeper and uh, fielder. But we're going to have Leon bring you up to date with the test match that's going on between Pakistan and England at this time. Well, as you know, the Pakistanis, they have won the, first, the toss in the first test match. And they scored a mammoth 523 for eight. 
with some useful scores, 245 by Shah Malik and 107 by Sadiq or Shafiq. And we had a 98 by the opener, Hafiz, Mohammed Hafiz, 52348. England replied with a good reply indeed, 56948 with Alistair Cook scoring a double century, 263. Useful scores from Ian Bell, 63, and 85 from Joe Root. But I turn it back over to you, Eddie, as we see the next deliveries about to be bold. Slapped it out into the covers. Batman gets a single, so Arjun goes up by one to some 44 from some 25 deliveries. It brings Sakweep into strike, and Sakweep is not scoring extremely well. So the left hander com left hander right hander combination causes usually problems for the feeling team. And this is what we are seeing here. All kinds of directions, like busy police officers on in any Caribbean city, all kinds of directions, left, right, left, right. You would have gone to those sort of a regiment there, Leon Francis. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, that reminds me of the military. Were you ever in the Antigua Defense Force, Eddie? Um, I'll let that drive the hand to answer. We'll come back to that in a second. Wouldn't want to give away that position that easily. Mm -hmm. They say Ivor, w was it a cop, Ivor? Yeah, he was a cop. Yes, he, he, indeed. I, I, I got away from a ticket from him once. Oh, really? Right, Ivor? Okay. <laughs> Wonder what he would have taken you for. Perhaps <laughs> speeding <laughs> or driving with a, without a license or driving on a suspended license. Uh, this one played out towards the deep long half position. Batsman just ambled through for a quick single. And it takes a total now to some... 87, according to my score, 87, 68. You see, Eddie, he was ticketed for driving while he was playing cricket all along the, all along the ground. All along the ground. Oh, That's a good one. I thought Eddie would have picked it up. Picked it up. <laughs> Over covers. One from the cover point comes across to his right, but cannot prevent the batman from coming for a single, for coming back for round number two. Takes the total now to some... Is that Ivor's favorite? Takes it up now to 70. Just missed it by one Ivor. So he was there for quite a long time. And I don't see any reason or reason why he would have flew that one. So the danger man goes. Oh, he's still there. So the danger man comes back to the pavilion. Let's see if the run rate will drop just a little bit there, Ivor Henry. Well, well, he had some parting words for his um, batting partner as he was about to pass him on the way to the dugout. But he would have done his bit. He, his team was in a spot of bother when there was some three wickets, 47 partnership. So it fell just free short of the 50 partnership. So good repair job there, but is it enough? We will watch and wait. It's still a 2020 um, encounter, and uh, this is the first of its kind here in the US of A. And we're asking each and every one of you out there who are in the vicinity of the Central Bird Regional Park to come on over. And we're having games up into the night, and tomorrow we'll be having games starting at 1 o'clock. And Sunday, we'll have the grand finale and the closing ceremony. And uh, once again, to me remind you, there are going to be individual prizes as opposed to um, the team taking away a cash prize. So the new batter is Shiv Narav. One is punched away towards the deep cover. Steven Taylor is on the boundary. He picks up. Rifles are returning. Batsman gets a single. So the end, the end of the over, the end of it, it is 71. 71 for the loss of some four wickets. And we have just seen the completion of over number 80, it is, Gora. According to my score, Victor Charles. 
Well, I, uh, I, I even mentioned uh, moments ago the prizes that are up for grabs. And the best batsman, he will earn a total of $1,500. Not EC dollars, no, uh, no Eddie. US. And the second best batsman, $1,000. The best wicket keeper it would be $1,000. The best bowler, $1,500. And the second best bats bowler will earn $1,000. And the best fielder, that's open to everyone, $1,000. We'll fill you in with some more as we await the as we await the delivery of the next or the start of the next topo. Eddie? So Kumar comes into the attack from the southern end. Batsman looking to turn it into the onside, into the fine leg region. Didn't make contact. It's a wide delivery signal and call by umpire Jamula. So the sun is back with us there, Leon Francis. Bryce. Very much so, very much so. We appreciate the sound, the, the sun coming through from all under the clouds, of, oh, come through, and it's somewhat bright. It's getting a little hot, and I'm sure the players would have enjoyed the atmosphere here today. Kumo on his way now to bowl to Sakwe, and Sakwe for this delivery. He's falling into the, into the fence, pushed out into the onside, and the batsman take off for a quick single and get it quite easily too. They did not. Get back into their crease, their respective creases. Getting a little bit ahead of myself there, Leon Francis. Perhaps yeah. the reason why you came a little bit close to me, Leon Francis, the little man out of Antigua and Barbie, you know, where are you from in Antigua, Leon Francis? Uh, um, St. John's or in the Liberta, Falmouth area? Born in Liberta, lived in the city for most of my life. Country guy coming to town. Is there a difference between the country life and the city life, though? I used to love the country more than the city. To be we honest. We'll get back to that. Here is Kuma on his way now to bowl to Sakwin. And somebody just slap that over cover. This will run away for four. It was dear for the asking. It was full and he was it was well placed and uh, it had the, the boundary written in all over from the time he left the bat. I would say from the time he left the hands of the, the bowler. So Kuma who want to bring it a little bit closer. To the to the battle, cramping him for room wouldn't be a bad idea, Leon Francis, would it be? Not in the least. But let's see what the next delivery will do. Yes, indeed. This one had him jumping, coming off the face of the bat down towards the point region. The batsman gets a single. So a little bit of restrictive there for the batsman. He's bring now. So you've got into strike. Total goes up now to some 77, according to my score. Some surrounded here with a lot of West Indians. Victor Charles, of course, out of the Twin Islands Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Come back to that in a second. Here is Kuma. And he's went out to bowl to Shivras. Out towards the wide mid wicket and long on region. And into the boundary ball for four. So, good looking shot from the, the tall man wearing the number seven jersey, opening the shoulders. Has some big shoulders there, Leon Francis. Uh, oh, how you wish you had similar shoulders. I have bigger shoulders. <laughs> you just haven't seen me playing cricket in about maybe a year and a half. <laughs> but coming out of retirement, I've been asked on many, of a, many occasions. I'm still thinking about it. Here's Kuma now on his way from the commentary box end. To the bowler, and the batsman can get no run. As I was saying earlier, I'm surrounded by lots of West Indians. To my right is Victor Charles out of the Twin Islands Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. To my left, my sidekick, my showpiece, would say Leon Francis out of the Twin Islands state of Antigua, Barbuda. I'm, I'm so glad you, remem you remember to, to mention Barbuda. Well, it's been dormant for some for some years now, and I'm glad that it is back in the fold of things. And pushed out into the covers. The batsman can get no run. Total remains on some 81 for four. So the over comes soon, and at the end of the over, and at the end of it, 81 
for the loss of Paul Lee and Francis. Yes, indeed. And as I was, was saying before, the, the match England or Pakistan versus England is a high-scoring match. Pakistan having scored 523 for eight when they declare their innings close. England replied with 569 for eight. And it's... Uh, pitch that you would love to bat on, uh, um, Eddie. Yes, indeed. My kind of pitch. Yes. Ball coming on to the bat. Between the umpire and the stumps. So wide delivery, slapped it into the cover region. Steven Taylor is given chase just to his right of the deep cover. And the batsman only gets a single. So they realize that Stephen Taylor is good out in the deep and have him out there for quite some time. Has a very strong arm, very young, very talented. And we do hope that he Has will be back. Leg too. We do hope that he will be back in the, the PCL next year. You saw that you, you, you saw that shot that he played off of Badri? And that was worth his retention in that team, the pride. And the one that he hooked off, Bravo, for <laughs> four. And then yes. Bravo came back with the follow-up delivery and sunk it at young Steven Taylor. And it went over his head. Yes, indeed. He, he, his worth being um, recalled or retained in the team. And I think he will do justice to the South Florida um, area by being the only representative in the PCL. Uh, I think PPL. I, I think that Pollard likes him as a player. Very much so. Because he let him open the innings, he kept the wicket. He played an all-round game. And that is showing some confidence in the young man. This one is played out towards long off. Gets a single. So the total goes up now to some 84 for four. Takes Shibnet on to five. Sakrib is on to 12. 84 it is for four. High and hard between the long off and the long on and over the head of the ball for four. Good looking shot there, Leon Francis. A very good shot. Well timed and well placed. What? <laughs> Word. It was there for the asking, and he took advantage of it, and he got four, four useful runs. So, Sivnura Salva settles into his stance. This one is played into the wide long off position, coming around. Knocks it down all along the ground and Batman end up with a single. It brings the creep back into strike. 88 it is, 89 it is for four. And we're into the tenth over. Trenton just throw the stumps down at the non strikers end. The over comes to an end and it is the end of my stint. Looking around to see if I see Ivor Henry. Ivor Henry somewhere looking to get an interview. The tent over has completed. And it is some 89 for the loss of four wickets after being asked the bat. The Pacific is going well. Your thoughts and comments so far, Leon Francis? Uh, well, I could, could come back here by the, the bat inside. And the latest score we have is... 89. 89 it is. For the loss of four, wicket. four wickets. So yeah, not too bad. 10 overs, 89 runs. An average of 8.9 for over. And let's see. Well, my, my, my 130 looks small at this stage, Eddie. And that's the reason why I went below the belt and said it would be somewhere in the region of 128. Yes, well, it looks, it looks to be uh, going to be over 150 now. With this start, you really think so, Leon Francis? Yes, 150 could be an, uh, a good challenge, good total to predict at this stage. All towards Langon, 
And in one bounce over the boundary board for four. The signal comes in now from umpire Jamula. So four more to the tall man winning the number seven jersey. Uh, yeah, Nas just coming down the track, just halfway yeah. out of his crease. Yeah, I just need to make sure that that BMC so he taps the middle of the crease now. So the bowler has now changed his direction. Give himself some room and just slap it down towards cover. This will run away for four. So Timothy Surge Valley has decided very early in the chase to give it up. And the man looking good and good and good. And he continues to get better every time he faces Leon Francis. Yes, indeed. As I was saying, and you were predicting a total 128. Eddie, it looks like we are way off our prediction. 150, in excess of 150, could well be the end of this 20 overs today. Well, all you need to get just a quick, just to wicket, disrupt the, 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 yes. the batting tempo of these two. Let's see if the man winning number three jersey will provide that sort of entertainment. Turns it into the fine leg region. And from the deep, back with a square position is Steven Taylor comes across. Had to run a long way to his right. And the batsman was able to come back for run number two. So Salva continues to impress. Signaling for something the wicket keeper is, or the batsman is. Perhaps someone is walking across the side screen. All is well now settles. And that's the French cut. Gets a single. Looking back at the ball as it makes his way into the final region there, Leon Francis. But he's asking for a change of gloves. He's going to get it quite easily too. Well, that, that, that's what he was signaling about. And we could not predict what it was. But now we've seen what it is. I hope that will make a difference in his performance. Turns it into the long on position. Gets a single in Sequim. So Sequib goes up now to some 13. And Salva. We have now Salva is on 21. And he comes in to strike. Sapped it into deep cover. Finds Timothy Surge Ballet in the way. The batsman can only get a single, so the over comes to an end. And at the end of the 11th over, the Pacific, they are some 101, 102 correction for the loss of some five wickets, Leon Francis. 102 for five. Good score after having a false for four, right? Four wickets, correction. A 102 for four wickets. A good total at this stage. And I still maintain, uh, Eddie, it's going to be in excess of 150. But I see the batsman has gotten his uh, change of gloves. I hope he is about to launch an attack, trying to up the ante at this stage to try and see how much runs they can amass to put the pressure on the field inside. Just to satisfy your prediction, well, we'll see what the end result is. Well, I, I, I assume the field inside would want to restrict them as much as possible but you know what happens the batting team will do what they can to maximize the number of runs that have been scored very good day here at the central broad regional stadium and you're watching the u.s national championship the first of its kind yes indeed it is i have to tip your hats to matt Kureshi. this one is played out towards long on this will go for six Another maximum short, um, score there by the batsman. And is he the one who had his... Salva, his it is. Who had his glove being changed. And you do have a change in the commentary here with Ivor taking up the reins. Oh, no. Well, Eddie wants to just take care of this over before we cross over to Ivor. 
So Salva continues to be aggressive, continues to be the hard hitter that they expect him to be. Settles into his stance now. He's on some 28. Feel is changing, making some minute adjustment, final adjustment. Just one bounce to the fielder in the wide mid-wicket position. As he rehearses the shot now, perhaps he's saying the alien fans that he should have gone with it a little bit more finer. Never know what he's thinking, but um, I assume that he wants to get as many runs as possible. Can't afford to allow any chances to get away. It's a wide delivery down the leg side. Danger to bowl wide at this stage of the game. You always want to be on target, even though you may allow a single, but not to have an additional ball and allow a single. Kareshi. Feeling through his own bowling. Zishon Kureshi turns at the top of the bowling mark between the umpire and the stumps now on his way now to bowl to Sakweeb. Sakweeb for this delivery, pushing it back just past in the ultra hand of Zishon Kureshi and that's that's a chance right there. Might have touched the edge of the index finger. Nonetheless, the batsman come through for a quick single. It was low to his left, and uh, he could not have gotten, a, he could have taken a catch, but it wasn't to be. I think he went through it towards it nonchalantly. He didn't expect it, I don't think, that he did. And this one is played into the long on, the wide middle wicket position by Salva. And the batsman gets a single. So one more to Salva, one more to total. It takes a total now to 113. For the last of four on way into the 12 over, Salva goes on to some 30, and Sakrib is on some 13, 15 from some 15 deliveries. So Sakrib is the man playing the anchor role. Sishon continues from the northern end between the umpire and the stumps. And Sakrib just pushed out into the covers <laughs> region. Sishon Kareshi field to his own ball in the over comes to an end and at the end of the over and at the end of it the end of some 12 overs it's 113 for four Salva is on 30 Sakib is on 15 it's a good time now to turn you over now to Ivor Henry and just to remind our listeners as we will be bringing you up to date with the latest scores out of Sri Lanka, West Indies are uh, playing the Sri Lankans and they are not doing too well at this point, having had to chase 484 in their first innings, they succumb by scoring 250 and in their second innings, at the end of the third day, they were 67 for or two with Bravo scoring 50 being the top scorer and I'm sure they'll want to at least Samuels and Bishu. Well, Bravo and is it Bravo and Bishu? He's in in the second innings. Are in. I hope they can repair the damage, Ivor. Yes, indeed. And uh, cricket, lovely cricket, all around the world at this time. And we would not be left out here at the Central Broad Regional Park. This time, the batsman comes forward and plays it with soft hands to the man feeling in the extra cover region. And a dot goes into the book. You could either four dot balls. Now you know, Ivor. To me, I, I say it's a dot, it's a maiden ball, right? Yes. Well, this time he's going high and hard and uh, out of the grounds for maximum six, and the umpire hands goes aloft in the peculiar fashion to signal six, Leon. Yes, indeed, and that's what is needed at this stage of the game. You need to up the ante. Do as much maximize the the number of runs that you can get, and the bowlers has got to be on target. Yes, well he comes. Let's see. This time the batsman is turning this one around to the short squillic position. He picks up a single, which in effect takes the score up to 120. 
Indeed, uh, you'll have to turn the strike over, get the singles if you can, get the boundaries. The important thing is to keep the scoring ticking over. Yes, and the clouds would have been driven away by some sunshine here. In the north, there's some thick, heavy clouds, but there's no immediate threat of wind, and the sun is out in all its glory at this time. The Sandy Bassman is getting a full toss, and he's making good use of this one. He strikes it further and further back, and the umpire hands goes aloft. Six more as Romeo is coming in for some harsh treatment here. He's bowling these loopies back of the hand, and uh, the batsman is is making good use. No, right now, bro. Wait, 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 wait. So 126 it is for the loss of some four wickets. Bassman cracks this one in the air and he's passing the man in the cover region for a boundary. So he's going after Romeo and he's making good um, connection, Leon. Very good connection. It was a, a gift, as it were, and it was well dispatched. And oh, how you, uh, uh, as a batsman, love to receive those balls, especially at this stage of the innings. Yes, with five men in the onside, Leon, mm. in the offside, and he still found a way to. To pick the yep. and the field got the, the result, the desired result. Romeo flatter faster, the batsman is playing at one down the leg side, goes past him. Nicely taken there by the wicket keeper, but an extra goes to the scoreboard, and uh, Romeo will have to bowl that one over, Leon. It was we faster, flatter.